Hello, hello. Hello, Claudita. Hello, teacher. How are you? <laughs> Today you were the first one to enter. Oh. Yes, you were the first student. Okay. okay. How was your day, Claudita? Um, so, so. <laughs> so, so. Why? Yes. I have full homework. Oh, really? University. Oh, yes. my God. You had a lot of homework from the university. Yes. I, I imagine. I imagine that it was full of work, right? It was full of things to do. Well, but thank God we are here for another class, for another opportunity to continue learning. Hello, Mr. Eric, welcome to the class. Mr. Moises, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. It's a pleasure to see you once again in another opportunity of learning. Okay, so today we're going to practice a little bit of what we were doing yesterday. We were doing a, a little bit on demonstratives. We were working on the conversation, right? About the earrings and the demonstratives. Did you have the opportunity to investigate more about demonstratives? Yes or no? Did you investigate a little bit more? about what the demonstratives are? Hicieron su tarea de investigación? Yes or no? No, teacher. Ah, Dios. Why? Why do you do that to me? Come on. No, <laughs> les, dejo, no les dejo el montón de tarea y no me la hacen. ¿Qué pasa? How do you say, no estuve el día de ayer? Ah, I wasn't yesterday. You say, I wasn't in class yesterday. Okay. Ah, pero ¿qué pasa cuando no estamos en clase? We need to ask in the group. Hey, my friends, do we have homework for tomorrow? Right? Or you can go to the YouTube channel, right? Ahí en toda la información que les enviaron de inglés corporativo van las listas de YouTube donde le pueden dar click. Ah. <laughs> Come on. And you can check the information there. You can check all the information related to the curse there. Or teacher, what did you study yesterday? Because I didn't have the opportunity to connect. So don't forget to ask. Ask for copy every time you miss a class. Okay. So, but we're going to work on, we're going to work a little bit on the practice for the day. If you didn't, well, if you didn't investigate about the homework, I am going to, I am going to explain you a little bit of what it is about, okay? So yesterday we were talking about the demonstratives and I gave you some examples. Do you remember the examples that we were mentioning? ¿Se recuerdan qué ejemplos mencionamos como demonstrativos? These, these those, that, that, that and these. these. These, right? These, dot, those, that, and these. Very good. So we were talking that you use the demonstratives to talk about the position of something, where something is, or when you point at something, right? Cuando están demostrando o mostrando dónde está algo o algo que ustedes quieren saber. Eh, un poquito de información acerca de ese algo, right? What is that? Where is this, right? You use the demonstratives. So that's very good. Can you give me one example of one object that you have near you? And you tell me this, this is a bottle. Show me one object that you have there. This is a bottle. This is my cell phone. This is my cell phone, good. More examples. This is my book. This is my that book. Is my mirror. That is my mirror, right? That is my mirror. Good, yep. very good. Very good. Another example. 
This is my calculator. This is my calculator. Good, very good. Hey, Rosita, how are you feeling? ¿Cómo se llama? Ah, bastante bien. Hey. Ah, mejor. <laughs> sí. Ya la veo más alegre. Sí. That's very yeah. good. I am very happy that you are better. Yeah. Okay, so show me another object. Sarai, show me one object that you have there. This is my perfume. Mm. This is my umbrella. This is my umbrella, very good. Uh, Mr. Moises, um, show me one object even when I cannot see you. Or Gustavo or Christian. Ah, um, there you go. This is my clock. This is my clock, right? And this is your flag. That's good. Very good. Oh, okay. <laughs> your flag. Mr. Flag. Gustavo? I don't have camera teacher for this really? moment. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So give me one sentence. Lo vamos a imaginar. But um, um, this is my antiojo. How do you say antiojo? Ah, no, but that is not a singular example. Tiene que ser un ejemplo de algo en singular. Oh, because glasses is, is plural. This is my computer. This is my computer. Good. Very good. Chris Alvarenga. This is my television. This is my television. I, I imagine the television. That's very good. <laughs> Give me <laughs> something. Give me an, an example of something plural. I have here my, my good example from yesterday. These are my earrings. These are my earrings. These are my keys. These are my keys, right? Good. These are, These my, are my These are my earphones. Good. These are my shoes. These are my shoes. Oh, they are beautiful, Chris. <laughs> we cannot see them. We These cannot... are my pencils. My pens. These are pens, right? Pens. pens. Lapiceros. Pens. Okay. Right? This pens. Is my... These are my pens. Good. Mr. Uh, let's see, Moises. These are Lo perdimos. Ah, there you go. No, this is my shoes. These are my shoes. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. Solo me imagino de aquellas, de aquellas piñatas donde le dice. Y ahora tráigame un par de zapatos. El payaso y los niños. Ah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you are like, my shoes. And the kid running with your shoes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I just imagine that right now. Ahorita solo me imagino a la esposa. Yo porque estoy descansando. A la esposa de Moisés, así como. ¿Qué te pasa? Why do you need? Ajá. ¿Por qué, te, ¿Por qué te estás ahí chuloneando? Eh? Los pies. No, para... Los pies, los pies. Eh. Se es le digo, ok. Eh, Teacher Nati, what are you doing? No, I am just asking. Oh. Either. And in that case, Mr. Gustavo, I think you can use the example of the glasses. Because you say, these are my glasses, right? Because it's plural, right? These are my glasses. And Eric told Teacher, you these are uh -huh. audífono. Okay, in audífono that case, sería, they are eh, singular. No, that is plural. You say earphones, earphones, plural. because okay, the ones that you have there, earphones. los que solo van en sus orejitas, son earphones. These ones that I no. have here are okay. because you can put them on your head. Los de diadema se llaman. Headphones. 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 And the ones that are on your ears, earphones. Okay? Those are earphones. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. These are my nails. Right? These are my nails. Ya vamos a regañar a Eric porque se las come. These are my nails. It's like my mother used to say. Se te va para la panza y ahí te va a crecer otra. It's like, no. Then you were always scared. So these are mi mamá, my fingers. Mi mamá cuando me ve, me hace. Yeah, me too. That's what I do with my husband. 
Pero me hace duro. Sí, sí, sí. I have a question. El yes, efecto de sonido me gustó. La diferencia en la pronunciación de this singular and Ajá. this plural. Very good question. I have, the, uh, well, I answered that question in the previous class. You say this, short, this, and these. And you smile. Ahí, ya cuando ya tienen otra opción para las fotos, ya no van a decir cheese, hoy pueden decir these, and then you, you can smile. Say, practice, this, this, this. Practice with me, this, 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 this. 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 this, and the this. other one, these. 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 Ah, what these. is going to make a difference? What is it going to make a difference? The verb to be. If you say, this is a bottle and these this are glasses. Are. Even if you cannot make the difference with the sound, you know that this is singular and these are plural. Okay. Aún cuando no nos salga la diferencia en el sonido, el verbo to be nos va a dar el punto de diferencia. Right? You say, this is a bottle and these are glasses. These are shoes. Right? These are windows. Right? This is a TV. And the verb to be is giving you the idea that is a singular form. Okay. Very good. That's a very, very good question. So I am going to share a little bit before we move on. I have here a little practice, right? This is what we were doing yesterday about the conversation. And here I have a short practice for the previous unit. Let's see. I did the first one for you and you are going to help me do the next ones. And here you have a salesperson sells clothes in a department store. What about a chef? A chef cooks, cooks, food, food, cooks in a food, food in a restaurant. In a restaurant. A chef cooks food in a restaurant. In a restaurant. What about a flight attendant? A flight, flight attendant serves serves passengers. Serves passengers for an airline. airline. For an airline. For, for an airline. A carpenter. Carpenters. A carpenter builds houses. Builds, builds houses. houses. For a construction company. Okay, a carpenter builds houses for a construction company. A receptionist. Answer the phone. Answer the phone. Answer the phone. In, 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 in an office. In an office, right? A receptionist answers the phone in an office. In an office, right? In an office. And the last one, a nurse. A nurse cares for patients in an in a hospital. In a hospital. A nurse cares for patients in a hospital, right? Cares for patients. In a hospital, we are going to do a little bit of pronunciation practice. And as we are very few, we are going to do it in a very good way. Remember, when you answer a question, you have to do it as friendly as possible. For example, if I ask you, students, do you know what a salesperson does? And you say, oh, yes, a salesperson sells clothes in a department store. Oh, thank you very much, right? You cannot say, a salesperson sells clothes in a department store because you are giving isolated information. So in this case, you say, for example, do you know what a salesperson does? Oh, for sure, a salesperson sells clothes in a department store. That's a good, friendly answer. If I ask, for example, Brenda Rivera, do you know what a chef does? Chef. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Let's let's see, Rosita. Do you know what a chef does? Um a, a chef cooks food. Uh -huh, a chef cooks food in a restaurant. In a restaurant, right? 
But ahora, ahora dígamelo como que fuéramos amigos de, de, de Añales, vea. Hey, Brenda, do you know what a chef does? A chef cooks food in a restaurant. Tú dices, like, yes, know. yes, a chef ah. cooks food in a restaurant. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> practice again. Brenda, do you know what a chef does? Yes, a chef, a chef food cooks food in a restaurant. Okay, okay, relajada, 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 relajada. <laughs> okay, todos le vamos a mandar buena vibra a Brenda. Hey. Okay, Brenda, do you know what a chef does? Yes, a chef cooks food in a restaurant. Thank you very much. Rosa, do you know what a flight attendant does? Yes, a chef cooks food in a restaurant. A flight attendant. Ah, de, también la agarré en curva. <laughs> a flight attendant serves passengers, serves passengers for an airline. For an airline. Um. Uh -huh. Practice, practice, practice. <clears throat> Miss Claudia Sarabia, do you know what a salesperson does? Uh, oh, yes, sell, sell clothes. Uh -huh. Where? In, in a apartment store. Ajá, pero así como que fuéramos bien, bien cheros de hace miles de años. Ah, yes, a salesperson sells clothes in a department store. Right? Like if you are telling me the story. <clears throat> Rosa Amaya, practice, Claudita, practice. Okay. Rosa Amaya, what does a flight attendant do? Excuse me? What does a flight attendant do? A flight attendant? Um, a server, yes, a flight attendant, server, passenger. Uh -huh. For airline. For an airline. You say a flight attendant serves passengers for an airline. Right? Una me las tres. Una me las tres. Sin miedo. Mr. Eric, mm -hmm. do you know what a carpenter does? Sure. The carpenter. No. A camper. What is the pronunciation? A carpenter. <laughs> carpenter builds houses uh, for a construction company okay do you know what a carpenter does sure a carpenter build house houses for a construction company uh, again do you know what a carpenter does a, a carpenter builds houses for a construction construction company okay <laughs> mr <laughs> rene good evening do you do you know what a receptionist does Recessioning does, uh, yes, recessioning answers the phone in an office. Okay, a receptionist answers the phone in an office. That's the way you answer. Very good. Excellent. Mr. Moises, what does a chef do? Uh, a chef cook food in a restaurant. Very good. Mr. Gustavo, do you know what a nurse does? Yes, a nurse care for patients. Patients. Patients in, in a hospital. In a hospital, very good. Mr. Elmer Celaya, tell me about the flight attendant. The flight attendant service passenger for an airline. Good, let me see. Mr. Eduardo Mercado, can you tell me a little bit about the receptionist? Mr. Eduardo Mercado. Three, two, one. <clears throat> El número que usted... Ah, there you go. Here, here he is. Mr. Eduardo Mercado, how are you? Can you tell me the information about the receptionist? Uh, receptionist answers the phones in an office. In an office. In an office. In the office. Okay, <clears throat> Rosa Maya, can you tell me about the flight attendant? <laughs> flight attendant, a server passenger in a in an airline. Serves passengers. Serves passengers. 
Repeat oh, with me. They, serves. Serve. Passengers. Passengers. For an airline. For, for an airline. Very good. Let me see. Crisia Alvarenga, can you tell me about the carpenter? Carpenter, carpent, carpenter build house for a construction company. Okay, the carpenter builds houses for a construction company. Claudia, tell me about the nurse. A nurse, huh? a nurse cares for fun patients. In a hospital. Okay, and Sarai Morales, can you tell me about the salesperson? The self, a salesperson is the clothes in a department store. Sells clothes. Clothes. In a department Sell. store. No, ya, yeah, todos a todos nos falló ahí cuando, cuando ya nos tocó. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Reiniciando, right? The pronunciation. <laughs> don't worry, don't Pero worry. Estamos al módulo uno. <laughs> no, no, estábamos como, como bien listos, vea, todos súper listos y, y ok, cerebro, no me falles ahora. Y es like, ok, teacher Nati. Reiniciando sistema, right? Oh no, oh no. Okay, a salesperson sells clothes in a department store. Repeat with me. A salesperson sells clothes in a department store. A salesperson, a salesperson sells clothes in a department store. A salesperson sells clothes in a department store. A salesperson sells clothes in a department store. A chef cooks food. A chef. Cooks a food chef, in a restaurant. A chef cooks food in a restaurant. Okay, pero ahora de corrido. A chef cooks food in a restaurant. A chef, a chef cooks food in a restaurant. A flight attendant serves passengers for an airline. A flight attendant serves passengers for an airline. Serves. Service. No service, okay? You say serves. Service. Okay, a flight attendant serves passengers service. for an airline. A flight attendant serves passengers for an airline. A flight attendant serves passengers for an airline. A flight attendant serves passengers for an airline. Por ahí vamos, por ahí vamos. A carpenter builds houses for a construction company. A carpenter builds houses for a construction company. Construction. Construction. Don't say construction, okay? Porque construction. Ah, machetazo, right? A carpenter builds houses for a construction company. A carpenter builds houses for a construction company. For a construction company. Ok, aquí en el inglés tienen que dejar salir ese fresón que llevamos dentro. Todos tenemos uno guardado. So, like construction <laughs> company. So, like, no, for a construction <laughs> company. Porque hasta el, yo creo que yo, yo, yo tengo dos, dos personas adentro de mi vida. La que habla español y la que habla inglés. So, en español es, pues sí, mira, que no sé qué, que no sé cuánto. Pero en inglés, a carpenter builds houses for a construction company. So, you see. You see, it happens, it happens. Talking a ese intonation that you have inside, right? A receptionist answers the phone in an office. A receptionist, a receptionist answers, answers the phone, the phone, phone, in, phone an office. in an office. In an office. In a, a nurse cares for patients in a hospital. A nurse, a nurse cares for patients, patients in a hospital. In a, in a hospital. You see, hasta les cambia la cara. <laughs> That's very good. So it's important to practice intonation, right? It's important to practice intonation for you to sound better at the moment of speaking in English. I have here three cases. What are the names of these three people? There is a class, Kevin Thomas, 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 and Lamar Andrews. And Lamar Andrews, good. I am going to give you some minutes for you to read the three of them. Le voy a dar tres minutos para que lean los tres párrafos. 
for your own. Go ahead. Okay, one minute. That's it. I think it's enough. Can you tell me who is 16 years old? Teresa, Kering, or Lamar? Lamar. Lamar Andrews has Lamar. Eight, 16 years old. Has or is? Yep, yeah, is. Aha. Uh -huh. Lamar yeah. Andrews is 16 years old. Can you tell me who is studying art? Teresa Glass is studying art. Good. Can you tell me whose father owns a restaurant? Lamar Andrews. Lamar, Lamar Andrews. Andrews. Lamar has the restaurant or Lamar's father? Lamar's father. Lamar's father. Lamar's father. Good. Can you tell me who from the three cases has a baby? Karen uh, Thomas. Karen Thomas. Thomas. And who from the three cases has a computer? Karen Thomas. Karen Thomas. Thomas. Uh -huh. Karen Thomas. Okay, now, I think maybe they have it, right? Karen Thomas has a computer. Can you yes. tell me, can you tell me who doesn't have experience to work? Teresa Glass. Teresa Glass. 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 Okay. Can you tell me? Who needs the money to buy a house? Lamar Andrews. Thomas. Kering Thomas. Kering Thomas, right? Can you tell me? Yeah. Can you tell me who needs the money to study? Teresa Glass. Teresa Glass. Okay. What time? What time does Lamar go to school? Lamar. 9 a.m. From 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Good. Tell me. Um, let me see. What days, what days does Teresa have a class? Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 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 all the days, right? And because it, uh -huh. all the day. All the day. And yeah. usually study on weekends. Right? She has classes uh, during the weeks and on the weekends she is study. Good. I need three volunteers to read the three paragraphs. Me. Okay, go ahead. Whatever. Uh, you can read number one. Mr. Gustavo, you can read number two. And I need another volunteer. Me, no. Okay, and Brenda, you are going to read number three. Teresa Glass, I don't have time to work, but I need a job because college is very expensive. I study art and I have class all the day on Monday, Wednesday, or and Friday. And on Tuesday and Thursday mornings. I usually study on weekends. I don't have any experience, but I can learn quickly. Okay, very good. And this one, number two. Erin Thomas, my husband and I have a new baby. He makes a good salary, but we don't save very much money. We want to save, we want to save some money to buy a house and take care of the baby. So I need a job I can do at home. I know how to type and I have a computer. Very good, number three. I'm 16 now and I don't get and a loved ones from my parents anymore. I need to earn some some money because I like to go out on the weekend with my friends. 
I go to a school every day from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. My father owns a restaurant, so I know a little about restaurant work. Okay, very good. So it says, allowance. What is the meaning of allowance? Allowance is when you receive money from your parents. When they give you money, right? That's an allowance from your parents, right? They, they call it like mesada, domingo, etc., right? So we call it vueltos, hitting El Salvador. Allowance. You don't, we don't receive an allowance from our parents anymore, right? Or al contrario, nosotros le prestamos a ellos. Bueno, no es préstamo. Si le prestó a su mamá o a su papá, forget it. Es una ayuda. Yeah, it's a help, right? Yo te di la vida, me dijo mi madre. <laughs> <laughs> mamá, te acuerdas de que 20 dólares. Yo te di la vida, hija. <laughs> <laughs> mamá, si sí está viendo esta clase, ¿verdad? <laughs> <laughs> so, an allowance, right? Allowance from my parents. Allowance. It's when you receive money from your parents. And let's see, he owns a restaurant. He owns a restaurant. It means that the person is the owner, right? Eres el dueño del restaurante. Pronunciation. Tuesday. 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 Thursday. 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 Okay, the other one is Thursday. 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 Tuesday. 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 Thursday. 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 Quickly. 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 Allowance. Allowance. Ounce. 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 Ounce a restaurant. Ounce. Very good. So that's the story of these three people right here. Okay, so after this reading practice, we are going to move on the business of the topic, right? We were talking about this at the beginning of the class, right? For these, these, that, and those. We have it. This is for singular objects that are near you. Que los puedes tocar. This, right? This is. These is for plural objects that you can touch. That is for singular objects that you cannot touch, that they are far from you. Those is for plural objects that are far from you as well, right? They are called demonstrative pronouns. When you use them in sentences, we need to remember that we can replace the nouns for the words one or once, right? You can use the word one or once. And here I have one example. Is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? ¿Qué palabra está reemplazando en este caso one? Car. Car, right? It's replacing car. Is it like, is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The red one. Yes, it is, right? Answer the question. Students, is that your car? Which one? Uh -huh. one? Which one? The, the red one? Or the blue one? The red one. Yes, yes it is. is. Yes, <laughs> it is, right? Yes, it is. Very good. So in this case, we are replacing the word card for you not to repeat it. If not, you say, is that your car? Which car? The red car or the blue car? The red car. Yes, it is. No. But evitar la repetition, we can use the word one when you are mm. referring to the object again. You say like, hey, is that your bottle? Which one? Well, right? The blue one or the red one? Ah, the blue one. Yes, it's mine. Right? You can use the word one for sure. you to replace. Yes? And the ones. Ah, it's, it's for it's plural. For the plural. Yes. Oh, okay. Imagine that I say, hey, are those your glasses? Which ones? These ones or these ones? These okay. ones. Ah, yes. Sure. They okay. are. Yes? One question. Yes? Um, ¿Qué significa which? <laughs> ¿Cuál? Ah, okay. Which, which one? one? When you say which one? ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál no, de ellos? No, 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 no. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's a very good question. It's okay. 
It's okay. Mejor porque si no a medianoche van a estar ahí como el meme, como les digo siempre. Le hubiera preguntado a la teacher. <ríe> Le hubiera preguntado a la teacher cuál era which. <ríe> ¿Qué which? Teacher, which is which? Which. ¿Cuál? Which one? I have here a little conversation. Can you help me to complete it? Exactly as what we did yesterday. Look at those pens, Rebecca. Which ones? The light blue ones over there. They are nice. What yes, do but I don't really like light blue. Yes, but I don't really like light blue. Mm, well, what about that sweater? It's perfect for you. Well, I'll... Well, but, well I like it, but... Which uh -huh. one? Uh -huh. Which one? Because you which don't know one? which sweater, right? Which one? This red one. Uh huh. This red one. Yes, but I don't really like it, light blue. Mm, no, it's well, I like it. Well, I like it, but it's, it's, I like it, it, but it's expensive. I like it, but it's too expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Oh Sam, thank you very much. Y Sam nunca pasó de la friend zone. <laughs> Aunque le regaló 80 suéteres. <laughs> okay, oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, brother. <laughs> If she calls you brother, you are in the family zone. That it's even worse. So here you have. A, look at those pens, Rebecca. Which ones? The light blue ones. They are really nice. Um, yes, but I don't really like light blue. Mm, well, what about that sweater? It's perfect for you. Which one? The red one. Oh, I like it, but it's very expensive. Hey, let me buy it for you. It's a present. Oh, Sam, thank you very much. Students, look at those pants, students. Which ones? Which ones? Which the one? light blue Which ones one? over there. They are very nice. Uh, yes, yes, but I yes. really like light, light, light blue. Mm, well, what about that sweater? It's perfect for you. Which one? Well, which one? Which one? This red one. Well, I like, well, I like, I like it, it, but it's expensive. expensive. Like it. It's just like $300. Lay, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Oh, this oh, thank, you thank you very much. much. Thank, thank you very much. much. Very much. You're welcome. It's a little present because it's Thursday. Thank you very much. So here, here we have the different forms of questions. When you are buying something, we use this type of questions. For example, you say, how much is this necklace? How much is this necklace? Cuanto vale, right? How much is it? The next one here we can have Okay, here we have. Yeah, I didn't listen to you very well. Which one? Okay. Yeah. No me escucho, por qué? Don't. So, mucho ruido. So, yeah. Okay, so that's very good. Don't worry. I am going to silence everybody. Don't worry. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Yes. When you are trying to get something, you use this type of questions. For example, the question, how much is this necklace? It's going to give you the price of the object. So I have here one necklace and it says like, how much is this necklace? Because I am touching it. How much is that necklace? And you say, which one? Ah, the orange one. Ah, it's $42, right? and you give the price, it's $42, and you include the word dollars at the end. Or if you give a price that has two sections like this one, $59.95, you don't say it's $59.95, it's not necessary. Or in this one, you say it's $59.95. 
In this case, you can use the word. How much are these earrings? Can you show the earrings, right? How much are these earrings? They are $18. Or say, how much are these earrings? Which ones? The silver ones. Ah, they are $18. So you ask questions. Now it's the moment for you to ask questions. I am going to show you different objects and you ask me the questions. What about this one? ¿Cómo me preguntarían? How much this pencil? How much is this? ¿Lo pueden tocar ustedes? How much, How much is, is that pen? How much is that pencil? Is that pencil? One quarter. Oh. It's one quarter. How much, How much is that, that mouse? How much mouse? That mouse? $12. Let's see. How much, much are those glasses. glasses? They are $100. Let's see what the next one. How much how is much, how much is that, a bar? How much is that tequila? Lotion. <laughs> it's a perfume. <laughs> Lotion? How much is that tequila? Perfume. It's a, a bottle perfume. Of water. Okay. <laughs> a bottle of water. <laughs> it's a perfume. You see? It's a perfume. Ah, it's a lotion. Ah, it's a lotion. Yeah, come on. It's, a, it's the I'm final sorry. day for classes. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, okay, I have another one here. Okay, okay. How much is that? How much is that book? How much is that? How much is that dictionary? It's $25. How much is that book? It's eight dollars. So that's the form of questions that you say. Let me see. Okay, very good. So in this case, for example, you can use a specific words in order to uh, make a bargain or to ask for a, pli or for a price. You say like, um, I am going to give you options. That's too expensive. That's too expensive. Or you can say, for example, here, that's reasonable. That's reasonable. You can say, that's okay. I take it. Yes. I take it. Right, I take it, it's like, me lo llevo. I take it, or you can say, um, well, the one that you want to know. I am going to erase this one. And you can say, that's cheap, right? Para decir, hey, está barato. That's cheap, right? Or if you don't like the price, you say, um, Thanks, I will come back later. <laughs> you say, thanks, I will it's come back later. It's a very Salvadorian thing because it's like, ah, no, thank you. <laughs> uh -huh, I am going to this go is to the important sentence. <laughs> it's an important sentence. Like, Let me go to the ATM. Let me go to the ATM. It's like the uh, automatic machine for the money. Let me go to the ATM. Ya vengo. No, we can, we, you can pay with credit card. Uh, it's Bitcoin. Uh, no, we accept Bitcoin. <laughs> Come. It's like, no, I don't have money. <laughs> Thank you. I am just checking, you say. I am just checking. I am just checking. It's solo estoy viendo. I am just checking. It's like, ay, que no me gusta ese azul. Lo tenemos en otro azul. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's like, oh, thank you very much. Okay, let me see. So, 
imagine that you ask me for any specific price. Let's see. Uh, okay. Oh, Rosita, she had problems with the with the connection. I am going to sell you this bottle. Can you ask me for the price? How mm. much is How much that this? bottle? It's $20. That's too expensive. Ah, yeah, you see? Yeah, it's like that. I have another question for you. Is that your final price? This is a, another Salvadorian form. Eso es lo menos. Is that your final price? Right? Yes. Yeah, that's my final price. Like, y le pierdo. <laughs> they say. <laughs> right? Um, I am going to show you another thing. How much, How much is, is that phone? That phone. That it's $100. It's at your five that's, price. That's too level. expensive. <laughs> I need that's it on blue. Too exp I need it on blue. Ah, you need it on blue. Give me one second. Ta-da. There you go. It's on blue. Uh, 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 uh. Uh -huh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Give it to me. <laughs> say, I have it in pink and I have it in blue. Okay. Very good. Uh, let me see. I have another one. Um, let's go with the bag. I have a bag right here. How much? How much is that, is is that bag? bag? It's fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. It's Gucci. <laughs> Gucci food. It's very cheap. Yeah. Or that is it's cheap. very cheap, right? It's very cheap because it's Gucci, right? It's very cheap. So uh, in the matter of asking for different prices, these are the questions that you use. How much is this? How much is that? How much are those? Right? Those are the forms of questions that we use. For example, we're going to use it here in a normal conversation. And I have it here for you. Okay? Here you have two conversations about different objects. The first conversation says, excuse me, how much are those jeans? Which ones? Do you mean these? No, the light blue ones. Oh, they are $59.95. Almost 60. Are you kidding? No, thank you. Right. Are you kidding? It's like, ¿está bromeando? Okay. Almost $60. Almost, almost is casi. Casi 60. It's like almost $60. Are you kidding? No, thank you, right? What about the second conversation? Can you help me to read it? Me teach. Yeah. I like that backpack, backpack over there. How much is it? Which one? The red one. It's twenty-seven forty-nine, but this green one, it's only twenty-two twenty-five. Okay, let me see it, please. Okay, very good. When you have a conversation and you say, how much are those jeans? Imagine that you go to the store and the object is like this. I am going to place it right here. Okay, se lo voy a poner como por aquí. Oh man, there you go. And you say, and the object is right here. And you say, hey, excuse me, how much are those jeans? Uh, which ones? Do you mean these? No, the light blue ones. Ah, they are $59.95. Almost 60. Are you kidding? No, thank you, right? How much are those? Porque no los estamos tocando, right? How much are those jeans? I have the correct example for all the things. And for the Teacher, next one, yes? ¿Por qué se dice esos jeans si jeans es una prenda de ropa? Está bien que fueran dos jeans. No, 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 because jeans is already jeans. plural. Mm. Porque ya es plural. A menos que solo tenga o sea, la, la palabra está convertida en plural. <laughs> it's only... <laughs> it, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. No, you, you cannot make it singular. No lo podemos hacer singular. Yeah. No puede. It's like glasses. If you are a pirate, 
If you are a pirate, you are going to use only one, but no, right? They jinx, are plural. Jinxes, you know, okay. <laughs> uh -huh. jinx, yeah, you don't say jinxes, right? Jinx, it's already plural. Shorts, it's plural. Scissors, plural, because they have two parts. For example, panties. the scissors, panties. panties, it's plural, right? And the jinx, as you have for the two legs, it's already plural. So you say, how much are those jinx? It's right? like sunglasses. Sunglasses, shorts, pants, panties, scissors, they are shorts. plural form. Shoes, well, but shoes, you can say, where is my shoe? Si solo ando buscando uno, right? Or my shoes, if it is plural. The next conversation. I am going to show you the conversation here with the two objects. Aha, uh -huh. you can start. Claudia Sarabia, can you help me with the first part? Okay. Um, I like that backpack over there. How much is it? How much this is? How much is it? How much it is? Which one? The the red two? The red, the red one. one. The red one. Okay, the red one. Uh -uh. <laughs> um, it's twenty seven forty nine, but this green one is twenty two twenty five. Okay, let me see it, please. There you go. <laughs> That's the form of the conversation that you have when you are choosing objects when you say which one cual cual le gusta cual quiere which one okay and in here i have a little practice for that here we have two types of sunglasses and two types of cell phones we are going to put the prices on them let me see brenda rivera los está vendiendo el rosado how much is it give me and one price Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Okay, pero Sarai está vendiendo estos negros. How much, Sarai? Uh, uh, twenty. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Ajá. And Eric is selling this uh, antique phone. The red one. Is. $25. $25. Era antiguo, hombre. $25. And, and Gustavo Adolfo is selling the, the, the other one. $22. $22. Yes. Okay. Hey, you are very yes. good people. My God, <laughs> I was... <laughs> yeah, it's because, it's because it's antique, right? And here we have the conversation we have how much are those are how much are these sunglasses which one yeah me pueden decir the black ones or the pink ones they are and you read the price oh that's expensive and then it's the same thing for the phones how much are these phones which ones um no in this case how much are how much is this phone right in this case how much is right how much is this phone how much is this phone or cell phone right and you say which one which one uh, and you say the red one or the blue one and you say for example as it is only one you say it's and you give me the price that's expensive okay let me see okay la tienda está abierta al público Crisi Alvarenga, you are my first client. Welcome to Natis store. How can I help you? Hello. Hey, how much are these phone? Uh, how much is this phone? Is this phone? Which one? The red um, one or the, the blue one? The red one. It's $25. Oh, that is expensive. Oh, $25 is antique. You see, you are not going to Thank find you. this one. <laughs> Thank uh, you. See you later. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway. 
Ok. Mr. Eduardo Mercado, you are my second client. Veamos si vendemos algo. Mr. Eduardo, go ahead. Mr. Eduardo Mercado, Mr. Eduardo. Ok, no market for... Uh, there you go. Uh -huh. Welcome to Nathis Store. How can I help you? Uh, un cell phone. Uh -huh. How much is that cell phone? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The blue one. It's $22. That is reasonable. Okay. Do you want to do you want to take it? Yes. Okay. There you go. Thank you for shopping here. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> take my money, says Gustavo. Gustavo Adolfo. Uh -huh. He has money to spend. How much are these sunglasses? Sunglasses. Which ones? Mm, the big ones. They are ten dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay, Amber. Okay, here you have. Thank you for shopping here. Bye bye. <laughs> Give me the money. Mr. Elmer Celaya, go ahead. How much is this phone? Which one, the red one or the blue one? The blue one. It's $22. That's okay. Okay, give me the money. <laughs> There you go. Thank you. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for shopping here. Mr. Eric, go ahead. What is the phone? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The blue one. It's $22. Oh, that's cheap. Do you want to take it? Yeah. Okay. Do you Thank accept Bitcoin? Yes. Click, click, oh. click, 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 Pling. Ready. <laughs> <laughs> I took your money. Go ahead. Thank you for shopping here. Bye-bye. Uh, let me see. I am going to go with Chris Alvarenga. Go ahead. Uh, how much is the sunglasses? How much are the sunglasses? Are, okay. Sorry. Uh, how much are these? these these sunglasses. Which ones? The pink ones or the black ones? The pink ones. They are $10. They are in an offer today. Okay, that, that's that's okay. Okay. Ching, 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 ching. Bling, bling. Thank you for shopping here. Bye bye. Miss Brenda you. Rivera. How much are, are these sunglasses? Which ones? The red ones, the pink ones, sorry, or the black ones? The black ones. They are $20. That's reasonable. 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 That's reasonable. Okay. Are you going to take them? Are you going to take them? I don't know. Are you going to take them? Se lo va a llevar? Yes or no? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you for shopping. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, now I need you in this last minute that we have in classes. En este último minuto, me van a vender algo que tengan ahí en su casa. Go ahead, get something. Get an object. Todos, todos, todos. Agarren un objeto que me lo van a vender. Give me one object. Okay, I have it there. Good, good, very good. Let me see. You are going to you are going to sell me the object. Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. Sarai Morales, what are you selling? How much is that um, mask? Um solo es floreada. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice floreada? A, a flower, <laughs> flower mask. A flower mask. Um how much is variedad? it? You say, I have a variety. I have a variety. Okay. How much is it? I have a variety. How much? How much? Is it? No, I am asking you. How much uh, is it? 
have bought it. Okay, but um, how much is it? ¿Cuánto vale? Oh, uh, $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $1. $